So check it out. I'm back with my baby. We back from a long, long trip when I went to Maine this time. Pretty fun. Show a little bit of that stuff in the last video. People didn't seem to like that too much though. Didn't get many clicks. But back with my baby. Taking Hunter out. We're going fishing today. Let's go catch us some bass. But first, I got one of the most exciting things you can get in the bass fishing world. Let's go check them out. This is an unconventional rod tube, but it's a rod tube nonetheless. This is my favorite thing to do is open brand new rods. Besides taking these rods out and catching some fish on a frog line. This is one of the coolest things in bass fishing. I absolutely love when I get to do this. So let's pop it open and see what we got in here. First one is a big old behemoth rod. God, this thing is huge, man. This is gonna be a 10XD slinging son of a gun for the next while. I, I did not have a rod that could handle a 10XD at all. So I decided to tell him to send me one of these suckers. This thing right here is huge. We need to catch a few on this. Let's see what else we got. What you gonna catch a fish on today, Hunter? I don't know, whatever you tell me. A big worm? I don't know what they're biting. Me either, for sure. But let's go find some mayflies and catch them, what you think? Small. Gosh. Golly, man, he freaking smashed it right when I hit the water. Not bad. First bass on the pride rod. He is short and fat. Very short. Look at him. Pretty little thing. Ate that old Yankum baits. Skipping jig. Not bad. Spotted bass. Look at the way he ate that daggum jig. So, off his same dock, we've had a smallie, a largemouth, and a spotted bass. Number two on the old pride rod. Hunter, what's your first thoughts on the rods? Um, I like them. Which one do you like the best? Chatterbait. Seven foot three medium heavy. Yep. There's one action that I'm not in love with but the other ones I starting to like pretty good uh, seven foot three is a smooth sucker actually I like that dang thing so camera wasn't on sorry caught that one on a seven foot six extra heavy out here on a ledge with a little bit of grass on the edge of it dang gum it I'm out of practice man ain't have ain't had the camera on twice already today the camera off again what am i doing gosh man that sucker was freaking dogging me i don't think so i don't know i know this freaking brush pile is so good come on over here dude i know you had a fish gosh look at this thing man that was on a 7'6 heavy. That sucker loaded up pretty dang well, too. I 
wish y'all would have saw that whenever I set the hook. That sucker was not moving. I'll have the camera on for one of these in a second. Dang. The cutest human. Yes. And action. Okay, so me and Hunter had a good day today. We didn't catch very many fish though, and that's the issue. Whenever you go fishing, you're supposed to catch some fish. We didn't catch very many, and the few that I did catch, I'm a little rusty with the camera work. There's no doubt about that. I could not remember to turn the camera on. I couldn't remember to stop it. I, I was just having, I was having a terrible time trying to get a dang video film today. But anyways. The whole reason I was really excited about going today, I got these new rods in. Basically, if anybody didn't see that at the beginning of the video, these rods are the Pride Rod name brand. They are made by Billy Kistler from Texas. And the reason I elected to go with Pride Rods is they build the rods exactly how I wanted them built. Basically, these rods are unfinished. They're as light as you can pretty much make a rod. They have a split cork grip, which is exactly what I wanted. I don't really like the uh, EVA or the wind grips. They don't finish the rod. Like I said, they use the right size guides. And the biggest thing is they're built on the best blank made. Basically, this blank is a Gary Loomis blank. His company now is not G. Loomis. For anybody that does not know, G. Loomis is owned by Shimano. And Gary Loomis is building rod blanks under the name of North Fork Composites. So basically... This is a Gary Loomis blank, and it's built exactly the way I wanted to build it. Now, I am very, very, very picky when it comes to my stuff, and I'll tell you that this 7'3 medium heavy is an absolute knockout. This rod is perfect. I don't think I could do anything to it to make it better. Basically, this is my new all-around rod, this 7'3 medium heavy. I'm going to use it for skipping a jig. It might be a little bit too stiff for a chatterbait, but I'm probably going to throw a chatterbait on it a lot. I'm going to throw a swim jig on it. I, it's my rod I'm going to use everything for unless I'm flipping, frogging, or cranking pretty much. So, the issue comes in wherever you get to a flipping rod. I haven't exactly dialed in which rod I like yet for flipping and which rod I like yet for frogging. So, I've tried this 7 foot 6 heavy, moderate fast, and I feel like it's just got a little bit too much flex. And I've tried the seven foot six extra heavy and I feel like it has just a little bit too much tip for a frog or flip I mean it doesn't have enough tip for frogging and flipping so we're still trying to dial it in right now we are a hundred percent sold on this dude right here though this seven foot three medium heavy is a beast this thing was awesome today even Hunter liked it and Hunter doesn't like very many rods at all so it was it's pretty cool to get the best rod you can have for a change I've never really had the absolute best rod made ever but now I've got some so me and Hunter had a fun day testing out the rods. Next time we go fishing, we're going up to Hawassi and we're going to put these suckers to the test for real next time. So, if y'all enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. See y'all in the next one. I will link these rods down below the video if you want to look at them. I don't want to be a salesman or nothing, but I will link the rods because some people have told me to link my product. So, see y'all later. One more thing I was going to say. I know over here in Alabama and Tennessee where most of y'all live, there's nowhere to pick up one of those rods and really feel of it, mess with it. So if you see me anywhere on the lake, anywhere I got my boat, say, hey, let me see one of them rods. Let me see that seven foot three. And I'll gladly let y'all see it for a little while. So that's what you need to do if you see me. Say, let me see that rod.